Hello, it's me, Tom, your friendly neighbor atheist. You haven't heard from me in a long time. For lots of reasons. Uh, I get into it, but uh, the world has changed. Between Trump and Black Lives Matters and protests and global climate change and fires, and just drought and just... The world seems to be going to hell. Um... It's not about religion anymore. It's just about the fact that society is crumbling. And not in the way that I anticipated. I anticipated things to be very different now. Um, let's talk about white privilege. Let's talk about Black Lives Matter. You know what I say about Black Lives Matter? Black culture is fucked up. Fucked up in the same way that a child that has been abused its entire life is fucked up. It should not be Black Lives Matter. It should be stop treating black people as if their lives do not matter. That is the message of Black Lives Matter. So I'm sick and fucking tired of hearing... White lives matter. Police lives matter. Other people's lives matter. Yeah. It's not about whose lives matters. The question is not whose life matters. The point is that black people have been treated like shit for hundreds of years. For generations. We now have protests in the same way we had protests in the 1960s because black people are pissed off beyond belief and they cannot take it anymore. I will give you an example. Have you ever gotten so frustrated at your computer that you smashed your keyboard? Have you ever been so angry at something that while doing dishes, you smash a dish, you throw down a plate, you smash a cup. Have you ever been so angry that you kick the wall so hard that not only do you break your wall, you hurt your foot? Have you ever been so angry that you did something that caused you to harm yourself or your property? That is what our current situation is. People are destroying their own neighborhoods because they are so angry they cannot contain themselves. It is not about a Black Lives Matter because Black lives are human lives and we are all homo sapiens. Genetically, there are no black people. There are no white people. There are no Hispanic people. There are no Asian people. There are only homo sapiens. But we have chosen to categorize ourselves, create boxes for ourselves, and say those people are different than ourselves and cause problems because that's what humans do. They categorize in order to feel included. And the only way to feel included is to exclude someone else. So, Black Lives Matter, B-L-M, is not about whose life matters. It's about black people being treated as if their lives did not matter. And that, as a human being, makes me angry. I don't care that I'm white. I don't care that I have white privilege. And I do indeed have white privilege. In fact, I have the most white privilege. I am a cis white male, over 50, Six foot tall, I have every box checked on white lives. White lives.
on white privilege. It is aggravating, it is frustrating, and it deeply angers me as a human being that the things that are going on today have been going on for decades, indeed hundreds of years. And I sympathize with those who are protesting because they cannot take it anymore. They are willing to destroy their own property, their own neighborhoods. They are willing to destroy what is theirs because they are so angry. And I can empathize with that because I have myself been so angry that I have destroyed my own property. But they are doing it on a much larger scale because it is a much larger problem. Racism is not a black problem. It is a white problem because white people have been conditioned to believe that they are somehow superior to black people. And guess what? There are no white people. There are no black people. There are only people. But we cannot see it that way. We have been conditioned to see color. So much so that black people will see other black people as inferior, judging them by the darkness of their skin. It is a horrific state of affairs that people judge each other by the color of their skin, by the amount of melatonin in their skin, which is a genetic trait that is so redundant that hair color and eye color are just as important. But in our society, we judge people. Blondes have more fun, brunettes are dour and, you know, no fun. And people with red hair, they have no souls. They are gingers and they are, uh, but black people are treated as if they are not human, as if they are somehow inferior to people of lighter skin. So I, as a cis white male, have all the advantage. And I'm telling you that I am no different than the darkest skin black man that has ever existed. Because I and he or she am a homo sapien with some, you know, Neanderthal genes mixed in there some, because, uh, guess what, folks? We are not all pure homo sapiens. We are homo sapiens plus Neanderthals, because humanity did not emerge from dirt as if the Bible were true. Because, you know, the Bible has lots of origins stories. Well, not lots, but has one origin story, but religion has lots of origin stories. And they all pretend that humans were made out of dirt or sticks or mud or what the hell have you. But we weren't. We evolved. We evolved from apes. Well, not apes precisely, ape-like creatures. We are apes. We are one of the six great apes. There are Chimpanzees, and gorillas, and orangutans, and bonobos, and humans. Or is that only five? Let's throw Neanderthals in there because they existed recently enough that they are still part of our particular DNA because we evolve from the same thing. Black lives matter just like all lives. I wish people could understand that it is not a message of whose life matters, but 
a message of stop treating us as if our lives do not matter. The world could have easily been very different. But somehow it isn't. This is the world we have. Don't you want to live in a world of peace? Why is hate and bigotry and fear so prevalent? Why is it applauded? Why is Donald Trump the fucking president? Because all he does is spread hate and fear and bigotry in order to have power. Power to basically destroy the world because that's what he would do if given the opportunity. He is against the science of climate change. He is against the science of humanity. He is against science, period. Donald Trump is qualified to be president in the same way that Kermit the Frog is qualified to be a mammal. It just, it's horrific. It's a horrific state of affairs. Do you want to see more of this? Because I, I could talk all day and I, I'm quite frankly compelled to talk because there's so much shit going on. I can't stand it anymore. And I just had to say something. Anyways, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And religion sucks. Religious people do not suck. They're just fine. They can believe whatever they want. And climate change is real. Donald Trump sucks. Black people are just people. Period. I, 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 I don't understand why people can't just accept that. The color of someone's skin does not change the fact that they are people. They're just people. No matter what color of skin they are, what, no matter what shape their eyes are, we are all 99.9% .9 the same. They are just small genetic differences that affect hair color and eye shape and nose shape and hair color and just, they're such minor trivialities that make us different. And we focus so hard on those very, very slight differences as if they make all the difference in the world. Can I just say get over it? Get the F over it, please. Society, please just get over it. We are all homo sapiens with a little bit of Neanderthal, but we are all the same species. Just get the F over it, please.